everybody welcome back to my channel the movie and makeup moment today we are drinking what my son likes to call puppy beers because there's a puppy on the front um if you hear him crying he's going down for a nap and he's not a happy camper about it so it is what it is all right i i like these they're a little bit big so i won't drink the whole the whole one uh it's one pint is what it says i don't know but it's good i wish they came in smaller they might i told my husband i was like this is too much for me i need a smaller portion especially because i don't want to waste all the calories so if you are not aware disney released a trailer for I believe it's called Raya and the Last Dragon. I'll put a picture up. And I'm very excited because I'm sure that I will watch this movie over and over and over. I believe the release date is March 2021. Mm. Oh, it's going to be in theaters March 2021. I was hoping that it was going to be... Uh, here, let me move you down a tiny bit. I was hoping that it was going to be on Disney Plus, but I will not be going in theaters to see it. Maybe in March. Maybe. Let's be hopeful. All right. Let's get into it. Here, let me put this. I've been dying to see this trailer because I want to see what it's all about. I believe it's Raya instead of Raya. I guess we'll see. All right, let's get into it. I love how Disney, I mean, I'm assuming she's a Disney princess. She's probably not a Disney princess, but I love how all like Disney characters have like that little friend pet character, like Ariel had flounder, um, Rapunzel had that little, God, what's its name? It's like a chameleon, uh, but they always had like that little, that little friend. Here, <sighs> let's keep watching. <laughs> I gotcha. It kind of feels a little bit like Tomb Raider. A little bit like Tomb Raider, a little bit like Mulan. I don't know where this is supposed to take place. Uh, we can look it up after, but... I feel like there's gonna be another trailer because we're almost halfway through this trailer and I don't know who this character is. Like, is she a princess? Is she a warrior? What is she doing there? Is she a thief? Like, there's so many, there's so many questions in my mind. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to see it. I feel like it's got a little bit of like Treasure Island. I know that that's not, I don't think Treasure Island is a Disney movie, but um, I could be wrong. Ah. Don't, don't come at me. Um, but I want to know more and I feel like this trailer is not going to give us everything, but let's keep watching. My whole life, I trained to become a guardian of the dragon gem, but this world has changed. <laughs> and its people are divided. <laughs> now... 
to restore peace. I must find the last dragon. My name is Raya. Okay, so it's not Raya, it's Raya. <laughs> my daughter's gonna be so disappointed. If you are new here, my daughter's name is Raya. So <laughs> she was really looking forward to there being a character that was pretty much named after her. Um, I don't know where this is supposed to take place. Like, I'm not very good at guessing based on um, structures or fashion what country this is supposed to be. Um, I don't want to guess wrong. I guess my initial reaction is like, is it like Sa Saigon, Thailand, some, some sort of uh, Asian country. I don't know. I'll look it up after. I feel really bad that I don't know it. Um, but it looks really interesting. It kind of has a weird like Star Wars-y vibe with like the fact that she's been trained her whole life to protect uh, the Dragonstone. Uh, I wonder if there's a real dragon or if it's just like a stone that has magical properties because uh, she said she has to find the last dragon. Maybe that's a stupid question. I don't know, let's keep watching. <laughs> How'd it get so big? You're getting a little too big for this, bud. I, I need to know more about this, so let's look it up. Okay, so it says, Raya and the Last Dragon is a upcoming 2021 American computer animated adventure fantasy film produced by Walt Disney. Uh, it's the 59th film produced by the studio. Uh, long ago in the fantasy world of Kumandra, humans and dragons lived together in harmony. But when an evil force threatened the land, the dragons sacrificed themselves to save humanity. Now, 500 years later, the same evil has returned and it's up to a lone warrior, Raya, to track down the legendary last dragon to restore the fractured land divided by people um, and, and its divided people. However, along the journey, she'll learn that it'll take more than a dragon to save the world. It's going to take trust and teamwork as well. That sounds really cool. Now, I when I was doing the Google search, it came up like what ethnicity is Raya and the Last Dragon. Um, it's inspired by Southeast Asian cultures like Thailand, Vietnam, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia, but uh, Philippines and Laos. So I guess I wasn't far off when I said Thailand. That makes me feel a little bit better and a little bit more justified. Uh, but it, it sounds like because it's a world where dragons exist, it's a fantasy land. So it's not a real ethnicity. So it can kind of blur those boundaries that we've created a little bit, um, on these cultures, which is really cool. Uh, I don't know. I'm excited to see it. Uh, she's a warrior instead of a princess, which I really like. Hopefully my daughter is stu like super stoked about that. You know, I always kind of thought that she was going to be interested in Rey in Star Wars. And I was like, yeah, she even has Star Wars bed sheets and everything. And she just, she's so obsessed with princesses. Um, Sophia, Elsa, all of that. Um, she, she told me uh, recently that she's going to grow up to be a princess. And I was like, Rey, princesses don't exist. <laughs> And she was like, mommy, you told me I could be whatever I want when I grow up. And I'm like, yep, I did. I did say that. So, um, okay, you win. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm happy that there's more kid movies coming out. Um, I just rewatched Onward on Disney Plus last night. I love that movie. I feel like it's so underrated. Like that movie was awesome. Uh, I will definitely be watching it again. Chris Pratt being um, the voice of Barley was just, it cracks me up every time. So I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and that this bonus video, you know, is something that you're interested in. 
I will see you next time on the movie and makeup moment. I am completely makeup free today. So <laughs> here's my face. There's the moment it has passed and I will see you next time. Bye.